Hi everyone, Uncensored Pillow Talk begins now with the president of the Dougal Council, David Herrera. Hey David, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, pleasure. So, tell me, what exactly does the Ducal Court do and uh, what do you do within it? So, the Ducal Court is a charitable organization. We're a 501c3 organization that raises money for other charities. Uh, local charities mostly that are in need, that are underfunded and whatnot. Uh, we bring some camp for fun and have a good time mm -hmm. uh, while we raise money. So. <laughs> so what are some, uh, like, day in the life of president of the board? Well, I... <laughs> I get emails occasionally about what's going on, things that need to be discussed. Um, I have uh, meetings with other board members, uh, discussions about the future next board meetings, um, events that are coming up, uh, such as uh, Pride, uh, uh, local uh, events um, like our Royal Daddy that's the finale this weekend uh, for our court titles. All right, well, so we found out what you do and what the Ducal Court does. Um, so let's see, you know, what are happening right now and are coming up in this weekend for Pride. Uh, I know the Ducal Court is doing something for Pride, yes? Correct. Uh, we're actually on Saturday and Sunday we work uh, gates so that we collect money for the charities that they raise for the community and uh, the money that we receive from there goes to our charities as well. Awesome. And uh, so we're going to be volunteering at the gates, so look for us there. And uh, we also are going to be in the parade. So disco is our theme and we're going to have a good time. <laughs> we're going to continue to talk about pride. After our break, my next guest is going to be Landa Lakes, the heir apparent for the Ducal Court. Salon DNA is a one-stop place. Thank you to my family, my husband and friends for the support. Salon DNA, 415-956-1909. Welcome back to Uncensored Pillow Talk. My guest right now is Landa Lakes, heir apparent of the Ducal Court. Welcome to the show, Landa. Thank you. Great for being here. Yeah, it's wonderful. So, Landa, tell me, what exactly is heir apparent? It's a kind of a lofty title. It's a lofty title, but really what it means is that it's the voice that our organization has for the imperial court system, which is the international arm of the imperial system. Oh, great. Uh, so international. So what other areas does it cover? Right now it covers uh, Canada, Mexico and the United States. Wow, so that's, that's actually really large. That's really great. So we do a lot of fundraisers with the Ducal Court, apparently. Uh, they cover Canada, Mexico, and the Americas, in America. That's, that's a lot of money being raised throughout the, the countries. That's... It is, but you know, it's not also just about the money. It's also about causes as well. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the causes that we've done is having Harvey Milk on a stamp and so forth. So th there's a lot of things that we do with the Imperial Court system that's not just about raising funds. What does it happen, you know, like uh, in the day-to-day -day of Air Apparent, what do you do? Um, do you go and support other courts, say, in other cities? Or, you know, what, what are your, your errands, so to say? Each Air Apparent is actually put on a committee, and then there's also committees and subcommittees and so forth. So there's a lot of advocacy that we do that's um, directly related with causes that the Imperial Court system feels is like really necessary, especially with LGBT history. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that is uh, contacting representatives and even contacting uh, people that are not representatives of LGBT organizations, but just uh, regular individuals uh, that support our work. And so a lot of it is uh, very political in some wow. ways. But, but meanwhile, outside of that is also raising funds for, for different organizations as well as a scholarship foundation that uh, was started by uh, the Queen Mother. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And, and Queen Mother, that's uh, Nicole the Great, right? Yes, it is. Yes. Pretty amazing person. I've met her myself. Uh, so then what are you going to be doing during Pride? During Pride, I'm going to be doing a lot of things. One of the things <laughs> I'm going to be doing on the 25th is I'm, I am going to be uh, one of the judges with the... Um, Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Uh, so we and some community members are going to judge the floats as they come along. Oh, great. And um, besides that, I have a lot of things that I'm doing with my Native American organization, the Bay Area American Indian Two Spirits. And um, every single day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have a lot going on. And the mm -hmm. Ducal Court, of course, is also raising funds. So we're going to be working the gates at Pride, hoping that people will give us a dollar. Or more. 
or more. Suggest a dollar. We can always give more. <laughs> but but one of our favorite sayings is uh, is we do this work one dollar at a time. Exactly. And so we'll just continue to do so. That's that's really great. All right. Well, so let's see what else is happening in the Bay Area during Pride. We know that there's a lot of events happening, and we just want to throw some out there for everyone to get to know. Uh, Friday, we have Colossus. I don't know if you've ever been to a Colossus party. They're really big. Uh, I've gone a few times. I get a little lost myself, so I prefer a little bit more of a dive bar. But a lot of people really have a great time at this. Uh, so this one is SF Pride of the Gods, um, and it's at the Old Mighty, which is now uh, the Great Northern on 119 Utah. Uh, and then Saturday, of course, we have the Pink Triangle Memorial set up. It's starting at 7 a.m. goes until 10 a.m. Uh, and you're more than welcome to anyone can just go and donate their time. And I will actually be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, their website is pinktriangle.com. It's really easy. And then uh, we also have Pride Ping Pong Party, which I'm kind of excited about. I think I'm going to go. Uh, it's going to be 9 p.m. to 2 a.m., so it's more in the later evening. Uh, and it's at Spin, which is a 690 Fulsome. Uh, I was reading that they have a couple drag queens that are going to be there. Uh, they're going to have a judge contest for the most original ping pong outfit for gay pride, which I can see a lot of rainbow colored ping pong balls in my future. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Uh, and then something that's a little close to my heart is uh, Sunday there's going to be, you know, the parade, but there's also going to be hot tea, which is 6 p.m. to midnight at 715 Harrison. <laughs> My friend uh, Sandra Rose, which will be on the show uh, a little bit in the future, uh, she's going to be hosting that, so it's going to be a lot of fun to get to see her there. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. It was actually it's a lot of fun. I, I learned a lot about the Ducal Court and you know everything that happens with the heir apparent, and also with David for the president role. Uh, it's really informative. And have a great pride. Stay safe. Stay well hydrated, and bring your sunblock. Oh, thanks for having us. Absolutely. So for you that are watching, we have some great stages that are the community stages, more than just the main stage. Uh, the top three that I like, we have the Latin stage over McAllister and Venice, some great music, some hot, Asian, uh, some hot Latin guys. Uh, we have the Asian Pacific Islander stage, which is over on Polk and Turk, always a lot of fun. I know a lot of, uh, you know, we have the Rice Rockettes and people like that, they're going to be performing there. Uh, and then we also have, for you people that like EDC and the, the more club uh, music, we have Tantra Dance, which is over on Golden Gate and Venice. And that's about it for what I have on my show, you guys. Everyone have a great time. Be safe at Pride. Again, drink plenty of water. Bring your sunscreen. Take care of yourself. And if you have any questions or comments or any tips, please send us an email to tips at newsupnow.com. That's it for me. Happy Pride. <laughs>